Lights out and away we go. And Hamilton does get away very well indeed. Bottas doesn't. Verstappen's already nearly alongside him. And there goes Lando Norris down the inside. It is Hamilton ahead of Verstappen. Bottas has dropped three or four places. And there's Lando Norris touched. And into each other goes Valtteri Bottas and Sergio Perez. And that's the Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tauri getting caught up as the McLaren spun round with the Ferrari as well. And Max Verstappen, I think, has gone tumbling down the order. Yeah, Max Verstappen has gone caught out with that. On board now with Valtteri Bottas. And he made contact with both Red Bulls there. Bottas took out both Red Bull cars. Oh, just arriving far too quickly into the scene. Uh, it's a red flag. We are stopping this race while the marshals can clear the debris, the damage you can see on car number 33. And look how dry the track seems to be. They are standing by and they are ready with tyres. They are the red tyres. Is he going to dive into the pit lane? No, he's not, but Esteban Ocon is. Hamilton's going to be the only one who's going to start this race. What Hamilton needs to do here is to get as far ahead as possible of the rest of the field. Otherwise, he is going to lose out big time. It's going to be lights out and away we go for Lewis Hamilton only. The race leader is the only driver who's not come into the pit lane to change tyres. Now, he can race full blast down towards turn one. There's nobody behind him and through he goes. But out now, into the race comes the Williams of George. Russell, who is up in a second place, then Ocon, then Vettel, then Latifi, then Sonoda, and then Sainz, then Raikkonen and Alonso. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, copy Lewis, so box box. Oh, has he got a puncture? Is there a problem with George Russell? Oh, no, not more bad luck for George Russell. When is it ever going to change for him? Esteban Ocon takes the lead. Sebastian Vettel goes through when Hamilton comes out into this race. He's now going to feel right in the back because that's where he is. Max Verstappen, his title rival's gone through. Verstappen trying to go around the outside of Mick Schumacher. They come close. Verstappen goes off the road. Schumacher stays ahead of the Red Bull. Hamilton can't get past Gasly. Now Verstappen's going to go and try around the outside at turn two. He's got the pace advantage. Schumacher's got the inside line. They bang wheels as Verstappen goes through turn three. He gets his elbows out and he muscles his way past the Haas. Verstappen into the points. Into the pits, though, comes Lewis Hamilton. He's setting fastest laps of this race, but is there more pace in this Mercedes? Do they need to put Lewis on a different strategy here to try and force his way back into this race again? So now getting a bit of track position is what they want, and that's why Red Bull are making this pit stop, but also they don't want Hamilton trying to undercut them. Here comes Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton's going to get past Max Verstappen. Can he get past Danny Ricciardo as well? That will be double bubble if you're Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes, and the undercut has worked here at the Hungaro ring. Esteban Ocon comes out onto the track. He's ahead of Sebastian Vettel who had a brilliant outlap himself, but not quite good enough to get past Esteban Ocon. Alpine lead, Alpine second, Alonso yet to stop, Ocon has stopped, Vettel down to third, the race is on now to the chequered flag, and Vettel is not going to give this up because he's on warmer tyres. Ocon's looking in his mirrors, wondering where Vettel is. He's right behind him, can't find a way through at turn four. As here goes, uh, with back markers getting in the way, almost Sebastian Vettel uh, getting past Esteban Ocon. Alonso locked up, Alonso locked up. This is going to give him a big chance now. Well, with right, DRS from right, the outside. Right couldn't cost Hamilton the chance to get Alonso into turn one. Might just have cost him overall the chance in the turn two as well. But what Fernando Alonso did there was brilliant defending. Hyper aggressive running him out the outside. Now there is another chance. Around the outside this time. Wow, Alonso is just brilliant at defending, isn't he? What a great job he did there. He's closer now, in towards turn two. DRS once again for Hamilton. Alonso makes Hamilton go the long way around the outside. Oh, they almost touch. Hamilton has to back out of it because he knew he was running out of room. And three laps running. Alonso keeps him at bay. Now we head towards turn four. Hamilton's got the pace. He's not got the room. Alonso's got the racecraft. And he's still got fourth place. 
So this is what Lewis needs to do with Alonso. Set it up in turn one. Ricciardo had to block, so had a bad run out of turn one. And then Verstappen round the outside into turn two. That's the best way to do it. Now, Hamilton forces Alonso to defend in the way Nico Rosberg said that he should be doing, but still Fernando Alonso gets better traction going out of turn one. Hamilton trying to go around the outside here into turn two. Does break later this time, not late enough. Alonso stays ahead, but this is going to carry on and on because don't forget the pace advantage that Mercedes has towards turn four. This time he's on one side, and I think they might have touched there as well. Hamilton had to back out of it. Alonso somehow is keeping keeping Hamilton at bay. This is incredible. Nudging 195 miles an hour. Yes, yes, very close now. Here comes Hamilton. He just backed off a little bit too early, but Alonso is locked up. This is Hamilton's chance. It has been coming for a few laps now. You can hear the cheers from the crowd. Hamilton is up in the fourth place, but he's still got to defend it. Alonso trying to go around the outside. Wasn't quite alongside him. And Hamilton is now released from behind the Alpine to chase after Carlos Sainz. Sainz has got DRS because he's about to lap Daniel Ricciardo. Moves over to the right-hand side. Hamilton is with him. Hamilton has got the pace advantage and has got better traction coming out of that corner. Sainz forces him deep to try and put some more pressure on him, but it doesn't quite happen. And through goes Lewis Hamilton into the podium places here in Hungary. Sainz is going to fight this one back. Eventually, he might have to yield. He does yield. Esteban Ocon is going to be a Grand Prix winner in Formula One. Ocon wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel takes second for Aston Martin. Lewis Hamilton from 14th comes back to finish on the podiums. Ah, oh, Trebon Trebien and Formidable Esteban Ocon. Well done. I could not be more pleased for that man winning a Formula One Grand Prix. Yeah! Yes, guys. It closes it in fine style for Ocon and Alpine in a recovery mission for Lewis Hamilton and for Mercedes and for the second race running. An absolute horror for Red Bull. The title lead goes to Mercedes in drivers and constructors. We're going to take a summer break. Join us on the other side. There's a lot more to play for in 2021.